Oh no. Ah, I'm ashamed of myself. Hey, welcome back to my second episode of my last playthrough through Slime Rancher 1. You know, with the Slime Rancher 2 sequel coming out, the chances that we're going to be playing this once again, they are pretty slim. So for that reason, I'm doing my last playthrough and this is the second episode. In the very first episode, we actually just started our first in-game day and I just show you, you know, the ways that I very quickly open up the Marsh Blanket and the Indigo Quarry without using any cheats or, you know, speedrun tactics. It's quite quick, but that's the way that I do it. So just be sure to check it out if you want to see that. In this episode, we're going to just be focusing on, you know, getting access to the ancient gate, so opening the slime gate in between, and then, of course, opening the ancient gate itself, getting to the ancient ruins, and probably also going to buy an expansion so we can actually just house a lot of slimes really quickly. So let's get started. Now, first off, we still have the two corals over here with the honey crystal largos, and over here we have the honey hunter combination, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, I haven't really done anything since the last episode. Now, the first thing I want to get is first of all 25 mint mangoes because I want to pop the honey gordo. And for that, we're going to need some mint mangoes. Now we're just going to wait for this to grow. And we can also, I also want to get the phosphorus slime because I need the phosphorus floor for the ancient gate itself. So let's just check out Hotori West once. So help me out here and I'll make sure you get what's owed. And she wants, uh, you know, a stony hand, two crystal slimes, and a boom slime. Well, I kind of actually want to go get some rat and rock plorts also, so I might as well actually do this. So two stony hand hands, a boom, and a crystal plort. That's not too bad. Okay, so first of all, over here where the tabby slimes are in the dry reef, we can actually just get up here, and typically there are some stony hand hands over here. Uh, yeah, right over there. There are also a few down there, but they are probably already eaten at this point of time. So let's just pick up all these. I don't remember how many I need. I think I only need two, but we might as well just drag them along and just feed them to the hunter slime uh, largos that we have. Okay, so next up, let's go to the indigo quarry. Okay, so now that we're here, I actually want to get a few things. So first of all, I also want a rat plort because I am going to the ancient gate after this. So let's just, um, you know, throw this guy over here. There's probably going to be a heartbeat over here. Yes, let's feed him, get our crystal plort, and that's good. Okay, so let's just get some crystal slimes next. Now that red plort I'm going to be using for the ancient gate. Next, I want to get some crystal slimes over here. So there's definitely going to be a few. So Okay, they're all becoming Largos, which is not very cool. Okay, so there's a tar breakout going on in the crystal caves and basically all the original um, slimes, crystal slimes, non-Largo are basically gone. So I think I'm not going to do Taurus quest, in, but I am going to just collect some plorts for the ancient gate. So let's just drop these hand hands and let's get ourselves a few plorts. Okay, so I actually found a rock plort and a phosphor slime on the way and back to the ranch. So that's pretty nice. So I'm going to feed this phosphor slime a vegetable and then I can get his plorts. Now, typically I go to the ancient gate with 25 min mangoes to pop the um, honey gordo. And of course, mm -hmm. the two plorts that I can't find in the marsh blanket. And those are the rock and the rat. And then, of course, I also want to get the um, phosphor plort because, well, you know, those guys, uh, you know, you can't find them whenever you want. So now we're just going to go back to our ranch, drop off the stony hand hands at the hunters, and pick up some mint mangoes if they've already grown. Hopefully they have. And then we can just head to the marsh blanket. Okay, so fantastic. We got some mint mangoes. I upgraded a few gardens while I was there. And now we're just going to the marsh blanket. Okay, so finally here, still have no upgrades to speed, which is really annoying. I only had the um, tank booster upgrade and the hover pack, which I kind of regret. I should have actually upgraded a few more pieces of my equipment, but you know, I'll do that when we get back. So next up, we're just gonna go to the honey gordo. I feel like I'm repeating myself endlessly. Now I do have to mention, I have 26 mint mangoes, which is one more than I actually need to pop this guy. Uh, but I am actually also keeping one to just feed them to one of the honey slimes that this guy is going to give. So I immediately also get their plort. 
Um, so that way we already have six plorts, uh, no, four plorts out of the six ones that we need. Let's just break these chests more for the money than for anything else because I can't carry anything. And the reason that I actually bring these specific four plorts with me is because, you know, these are the most hard ones to get while, you know, playing through the game. Because there are Tammy Slimes over here and to the part where the Ancient Gate, or well, the, the Slime Gate to the Ancient Gate is, there are tons of Boom Slimes. So yeah, that makes uh, for me a lot of sense. So that's the reason I'm doing this like this. Um, so we just have to come over here, open the gate, and then we can just find some statues. Okay, next, first up, honey plort, boom. Then we can come over here, where is he? Here is the phosphor slime, boom. Then we have the rock plort. And guys, do me a favor, if you aren't subscribed yet, and I make this shot, so be sure to subscribe because I always fail this shot. So let's try it. If I succeed, you subscribe, right? That's actually really, no kidding, the first time that I make that shot. I really am not kidding. That was really, it sounded fake probably, but no, it's the very first time. Okay, sorry. Uh, next up, let's go get some Tabby and Boom Plorts. And some boom ports. Nice. Now, while I am going to the uh, ancient ruins, I might as well just take some fruit with me because if I see some phase lemons, I'm probably already going to try to collect them because uh, I just find phase lemons, you know, they are such, such a hassle to collect. Um, you know, you have to just shoot fruit through those trees, but you know, you just really need to find a specific tree with phase lemons on that are completely grown. And you know, that's sometimes the hardest part. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the ancient gate. There you go. The last time, ancient slime gate, the very last time, unless you make also a return. I remember still the very first time I was playing this game, uh, uh, you know, playing this game, when I actually did the first run through the uh, ancient gates and I had no clue how to get these things. And I was just, you know, kind of looking around, trying to figure it out. I couldn't figure it out. And then at one point I just, um, you know, broke a crate and suddenly I got some face lemons from that way. So, you know, it only, it was like in my second full playthrough and then I actually figured it out. So you just need to shoot some fruit in there. And we got it. Now I wonder, if it, does it actually also work if you shoot face lemons at face lemons? Nope, that, that doesn't work. Any other type of fruit, you know, should work? Nope, fruit only works. Any other type of fruit works, but not face lemons for face lemons. That doesn't compute. We might as well pick up the most ugly, the ugliest secret style there is, and that's going to be this one over here. The lucky slime. I really, really don't like that one. So yeah, 9 a.m. on day three and we already have the ancient ruins. It isn't a record, but you know, I'm pretty happy with that. Still pretty fast. Um, you know, we are on schedule. Oh no, ah, I'm ashamed of myself. That hasn't happened to me in a very long time. So yeah, it's also kind of funny to have that done in my very last playthrough. Um, but yeah, we're back at the ranch. Let's feed these slimes. We actually have the ancient ruins, so I'm probably going to go back after we get our expansion done. Yes, yes, yes. Guys, hold your horses. Here you go. Here's the food. I should also get some auto feeders. Jesus, I can't believe that I just died. I mean, oh, come on. You know, it's the very first time you're recording your playthrough and suddenly you start dying by stupid things like that. That's annoying. I can't believe that I died, but... At least, you know, now you know why you should actually buy some equipment upgrades like, for example, the power core. So you don't really need to pay that much attention to your energy, just like I just didn't do. So yeah, I think we're going to be buying an expansion today. Pretty sure. Okay, so after buying the upgrades from the upgrade station, I still made 10k of new bucks um, from, by just selling, you know, the plots from this coral and this coral. And uh, just for Untamed Kate, I'm just going to say it once again. Coral. Okay, so I didn't think that we were going to get 10k, um, but you know, I did because I died. So the slimes had a day extra to produce all that money. And well, we might as well just buy the lab now. 
So the, I really like the lab because it has five um, plots, just like the grotto. But of course, we want to get some drones and then, of course, getting this refinery fabricator and stuff like that going is really important. So time to get crafty. OK, so let's just get this tutorial over with. Um, I'm going to buy my very first two gardens so those two can already start growing some fruit. Now, of course, I'm going to be replacing this by face lemons in a second. Uh, but yeah. Let's just do some mint mangoes in the meantime. I'm not gonna lie, I really hope the Monobi Park does um, you know, tutorials differently in uh, Slime Rancher 2 because I honestly find these tutorials just to kind of slow down the pace way too much or just at least make it possible to disable them in the options after, you know, after you're completing them once or twice or whatever, how many times you want. Okay, tutorial done. Now we really need to start building our ranch. So right now I'm still going to be massively selling plores because I need some cash. Um, I definitely also want to get the grotto because um, I want to house at least rock slimes, red slimes, um, some quantum slimes and a lot of pink. We're going to be needing pink quite a bit just for the... Um, just for the slime science resources that we're going to be needing for the pumps and the drills and the apiaries and stuff like that. So we really need to stock at the refinery with pink splorts. So yeah, you're definitely going to want a lot of those. So I'm thinking I am going to do some rock largos in the um, in the grotto. So rock largos with some rat slimes and some phosphor slimes mixed in. And then in the other side and the laboratory, you might as well just do completely quantum and pink Largos twice. Um, that is maybe a little bit excessive, but we can always sell the quantum uh, plorts for quite a bit. And of course, just you know keep the pink plorts just for the refinery. And once we actually got a really big stock of pink plorts, we can just you know completely change at least one coral to something else or, you know, just sell them. We'll see. There's no worries just yet on that front. And now the hunt for phase lemons starts all over. This really feels like a walk of shame at this point. Okay, so I passed by every tree for phase lemons and I didn't get a single one. It's just astounding and annoying at the same time. Let's open a crate. Nope. So yeah, I guess these guys are just going to be living off some pogo fruit or mint mango or something like that uh, for a while. But I did get some phosphor slime, so I don't really need to go hunting for those. So that's already pretty good. Um, so yeah, now let's just pop these quantum slimes and some corals. But first, we're going to need some money. Okay, so just by selling these two corals, they're plorts once again, almost 7k. I mean, crystal slimes are really worth it. They really produce so much money. Um, so now I'm kind of tempted to just also get the grotto. It's so cheap, so I might as well just do it. And we're going to drop these phosphor slimes into a coral. So let's show some high walls, some air nets, port collectors because I'm lazy, and maybe even auto feeder. I'll see in a second. So let's just drop these guys in there. That's pretty cool. Next up, we're just going to drop off the quantum slimes at the um, you know, two corals in the laboratory. Okay, so I don't have enough money to actually make them high walls. So this is going to have to do. So we're just going to divide them among here. So nine over here, nine over here. And then let's just feed them a little bit. Okay, so next up, let's just go get some pink slime. So just throw some pink slimes in with those guys, and the quantum slimes, and you know we'll be golden at that point. We should also go get ourselves some um, you know, heartbeats, some rock slimes to get the grotto going, even maybe some rat slimes. And before you know it, we're actually pretty close to making ourselves some drones, or at least some apiaries and drills. Um, but I'm also going to show you in the next episode probably a trick to just kind of get your drones even faster. So, you know, that's something we're going to be talking about. It's a little bit long, uh, so, you know, I don't really want to waste some time on that right now. Okay, so let's just go throw some pink slimes with the quantum slimes. Now, I am also going to be passing through the ancient ruins a few times just to get some phase lemons because that really annoys me that I'm not really feeding them their favorite food. I believe I know I need to pop four in with each. Maybe even, f let's do five. And let's just you know, give you guys back to the slime sea. There we go. So there are also a few quantum plorts in here. 
That's nice. Now, we definitely always equip some music boxes with these guys because, you know, they are quantum slimes after all. We don't want them to start escaping. But honestly, the best way to just, you know, make sure that you're never going to have any problems with quantum slimes is just to be sure that you always feed them enough. That is really the goal. So now we're just going to sleep for three hours and when we wake up, you know, it won't be a lot of time lost, but we will at least have some much more money from the crystal and the hunter slime. So again, so that's going to be a big difference. We might as well do some secret styles really quickly. So uh, pink slime is nice, rock slimes, bad, booms, great, honey. Um, you know, this is a pretty interesting combination, so we might as well just do that. Lucky Slime, definitely you'd want that. Quantum Slimes, I also like the yellow a little bit more. I once did a tier list, and I don't really remember how I rated everything, but yeah, I really don't like the Lucky Slime. And because I already stocked the auto feeders of these two corals, um, I have way too many gardens uh, over this part. Uh, I am just going to really give all this food to the um, quantum slimes just to keep them happy, you know, just fill the pantry a little bit and you know, avoid problems. Yeah, so right now I'm not really throwing a lot of plorts into the um, refinery. You might as well do it, but the problem is the moment that most people actually unlock their refinery, they instantly just start giving all you know, the plorts to the refinery and you'd have no money coming in. So I rather really focus on just, you know, getting everything unlocked, at least three zones. So th the main ranch, the grotto and the um, laboratory, have that unlocked, have it all populated with gardens and corals, completely upgraded. And that way your life will be a lot easier. After that, you just kind of need to do that little monotonous and just following the, you know, just feeding everything and selling plorts or just putting the plorts in a refinery rather, and then just really keep up that cycle. And in the meantime, also put up some apiaries and some, uh, you know, pumps, of course. Okay, so once you're actually here, um, rat slimes don't really show up anymore. So these are still Largos from before, or just Largos that now just ate a plort, but um, rat slimes no longer spawn here. So if you want some guys, ooh, uh, secret style there's a bot. If you want some rat slimes uh, or just any in go quarry slime, you are better off just coming over here. Except for crystal slimes, everything spawns here. So there always needs to be a constant supply of um, slimes here. There needs to be a certain number of slimes. I don't know how many, but there, you know, need to get a, quite a few of them. And if you actually throw up all those slimes into the slime sea or you just, uh, you know, vacuum them up, the game is constantly going to be spawning slimes over here. So that's basically the best way to get a specific slime. So I want to get a few rock slimes. I actually already have too many, but this is also a really good way to get some rat slimes. And otherwise you can still get a lot of rat slimes right over here. Um, you know, under these two giant rings, there are always a few rat slimes around here. Because we have so many rock slimes, you don't need, need that many rat, rat slimes, but you know, as you can see, we already got like 12. Yeah, 12. So that's pretty cool. We also got a heartbeat. Now there are a few more around this teleporter over here. So let's just pick those up and get our gardens going in the grotto. Hey guys, what's up? Yeah, they're not happy. So let's vacuum them up and see how many we actually got. I always want 14 slimes and a coral. No more, no less. So we actually have 11, so yeah. Let's just drop them all 11 in there. Let's just throw three rock slimes in there. And you can get two hard beads because I'm a nice guy. And then we're going to start at least one garden over here. And then another garden over here. Boom. And then of course we are going to get ourselves some corals over here. So completely upgraded or at least as much as I can. Definitely also want a plort collector because radiation poisoning is real. Let's just drop all that in there and let's go with, you know, just two and a half. Seven. How many did I do? Six, six. So one more and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there we go. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm really happy with the progress that we made. We actually got decent money coming in from these two corals alone, but we actually also opened up the ancient gate, went to the ancient ruins, 
I died, which wasn't that great, but we actually unlocked the laboratory, the grotto, and we got some decent combinations. Like for example, the rock phosphor and the rock red um, Largos over here that we can just feed some heartbeats. And on the other hand, we actually have it here at the laboratory where we actually have some quantum pink Largos, you know, floating around. Quick tip, just splash them with water and they will all stop being, you know, ghosts. But yeah, that's basically it so far. I do want to get some face lemons next. I might do that off camera. But in the next episode, I really want to focus on, first of all, filling that refinery up to the brim, upgrading these gardens and stuff like that, unlocking drones, unlocking the glass desert, get some slimes like those in here and actually make some serious cash and, you know, just, you know, start doing that. But guys, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.